is up you guys and welcome back to my channel I asked you guys over on Instagram to ask me whatever questions you guys had for me and I'm throwing it into a kind of a chatty get ready with me I love watching these because you get to know the creator behind the camera a little bit better into their personal lives and so I haven't done a Q&A in a couple months so I thought I would go ahead and do it since I've gained a lot of new followers and subscribers if you're not already following me over on Instagram, make sure to go head on over to Instagram after you watch this. Click follow. Um, I'm usually really active on Instagram. And if you're not already a subscriber of mine here on YouTube and you like my content, you like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, so I'm looking at the questions, and you guys really asked safe questions, which really surprised me. And surprisingly, a lot of them were YouTube-related questions, which I can appreciate that you guys want to learn more about, like, my YouTube journey and, like, info behind the camera sort of stuff. So I like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do, like, my makeup while I share with you guys the answers to the questions. So I think today I'm going to do, like, a really kind of, like, natural, glowy makeup look because... Spring and summer is coming, and I love nothing more than a dewy, luminous face. So my number one tip I'm just going to share really quick, because I'm not going to go over every single thing I'm doing, um, because I want to talk about the questions, but I want to share with you guys this. It's a Radiant Glow Face Oil from Derma E. This has been like a game changer when trying to get my skin like extra dewy and luminous looking, is um, apply some oil before going in with foundation which can be a little scary because it's oil but it just really helps to make your skin look lo really luminous okay should we dive into some questions ah, i'm like nervous i don't know why none of them are like that juicy um okay let's start with an easy one and that is all the new mom advice. When did you start a bedtime routine and what was it? So if you follow me over on Instagram, I've been pretty open with like telling you guys about my journey with Tommy. Tommy is 13 months old. I guess I should have a mirror out to do my makeup, huh? So I've been really open about my bedtime routine with Tommy, um, sharing with you guys like my struggles with him. Um, with nursing him and trying to get him to sleep without falling asleep on my boob and all that good stuff. Okay, let me start with just sharing like new mom advice, I guess, and then we'll go into bedtime. So, my biggest new mom advice is honestly like giving yourself grace and realizing that you are not perfect. You are not going to be a perfect mom. Your child is not going to be perfect. Every day you need to take with a grain of salt and roll with the punches. You can plan all you want. You can try to get everyone on a routine and all of that. But I'm telling you right now, it's it's going to be impossible to make everything perfect. It's not. Why does this keep falling? It's not going to be perfect. So you just have to give yourself grace. Um, I would say other new mom advice is like really connect with other moms and like being in constant like conversations through text messages or Instagram or um, you know in person to like connecting with other new moms so that way you can kind of bounce off each other and just have that support system because you can talk to your husband all you want you can talk to your mom all you want but it, there's something about another new mom and someone going through the same exact thing at the same exact time that really does like help you more um so that's always been a big thing i tell other moms is just make mom friends it's super super important to make mom friends okay and then for like a bedtime routine we did not introduce a bedtime routine with either kid lucy did not sleep through the night until she was 10 months old um and that's when we stopped nursing her we stopped nursing her when i stopped nursing her too was around 10 months old and then it just seemed like everything fell into place after that like she wasn't relying on me to go to sleep anymore um oh everything got better after i stopped nursing her um easier i should say with tommy he is 30 months and we just got him to sleep through the night uh at 12 months old it has been a struggle with him. He is like 
a boob monster. He wants nothing to do with anyone else when he's tired besides mom. Um, so it's been a really big struggle and really messed with like my mental health too because when you're needed 24 hours a day and you, I didn't sleep for a year straight. I was up two, three, four times a night with that kid. I'm not kidding. So it was really hard. And then, like, I didn't really believe in the cried out method. I still am not, like, a fan of it. I'll be honest, I'm not. And my husband was like, we just have to do it. We have to do it. It's the only way. And then when quarantine happened and Sam was, like, staying home from work, I actually had help then, like, in the middle of the night. And I think it took, like, two nights where the first night was horrible. He was up, like, every 20 minutes crying um, because he wanted me and not Sam. But that was it. And then it was, like, two nights and he was done. And I would say out of a seven day week he sleeps completely through the night maybe like three or four nights and then the other couple nights he does wake up like one time around you know two or three in the morning but when i go in there now i don't nurse him so he has no option and he just kind of like falls asleep to me patting his back and stuff so i guess my new mom advice when it comes to sleep training and like trying to get your kid on a bedtime routine is really do what works best for you um yeah, do what works best for you because people can give you all the advice you want, but if you're not comfortable doing cry it out, don't do it. If you're not comfortable, um, you know, putting them in bed with you, then don't, you know, whatever. Um, that's the other thing. We definitely co-slept with both kids. Uh, Tommy was on our bed forever. Okay, let's move on here. Do you and Sam ever get mad? You guys always seem so perfect in all the ways. <laughs> Okay, so this is something I hear all the time is, um, oh, you have the perfect little family. You guys are so perfect, picture perfect. You and your husband are so cute. You're never mad. Y'all, this is social media. You think I'm going to post like the bad stuff or like me and him fighting or, you know, of course not. Um, we don't fight though. I will say that like we really do not fight. Since meeting Sam and dating him, I have never once heard him yell, raise his voice. I truly don't think he has it in me. I'm constantly like, can you just yell at me? I really want to hear you like yell at me um, because I've never heard him yell. I don't think he can raise his voice. He's honestly so great. Um, he's such like a gentle soul, um, which I love about him. So we don't fight if we're having a disagreement about something. I would say I definitely raise my voice. I am very snippy snappy with him. His nickname for me is Krabby Croc, like a crocodile because I'm constantly snapping. It's like a big joke in my family, it's stupid. Um, so yeah, I definitely get angry. I definitely get mad. I definitely get like louder, um, but we've never had like an all out screaming match or um, our fights are very minimal and if we do argue about something, it's done with in an hour. Like, walk away, kind of do our own thing, come back and we say, oh, okay, that's enough. You know, like, so I'm very appreciative and grateful um, that the Lord blessed me with a husband who is very gentle and um, because I can be a brat. <laughs> so yes, of course we fight, of course we have arguments. Everyone does. Okay, next question. Who did you get your inspiration from to start YouTube? Okay, so there's actually two people. Number one being my husband because he has always been so supportive of me and what I've wanted to do. And um, he always, you know, stands behind me. And it actually goes back to like after I had Lucy almost four years ago. And Lucy was like two, three months old. And I was just saying, like, I think I want to start a blog. Like, these bloggers are making money. They're posting you or they're posting motherhood stuff. Like, I could totally do this from home. And he was like, okay. So he, you know, bought my domain name and the blog and all that stuff and put some money into it. And then I was like really successful for a little bit. I mean, I say successful. I was making money. I got a little bit of brand deals. It was awesome. And that went on for a little while. I remember I was getting like so much free stuff sent to me. So cool. And that was four years ago. Well, almost four years ago. And then, I don't know, it was like summer came and I was like so sick of being on the computer all the time. And I just realized my passion was not in the motherhood lane, which is totally fine. Um, 
and I just literally like up and left it. And so my husband's like, here you go again, starting something in Quinn. And um, yeah, basically that's what happened. Well then, fast forward to after I had Tommy, he was a couple months old. Okay, I quickly just did my eyebrows off camera because there was no way I was gonna be able to talk and do my brows, okay. So anyway, I went to a baby shower when Tommy was a couple months old and there's a girl named Toria, he used to go to my high school, at my table. And she was just being so sweet and complimentative and just saying how cute my family was and how, like, my presence on Instagram, um, you know, it's great and I'd be awesome at YouTube. And she just kept, like, seriously being so sweet and complimenting me and just saying, you should do what you should do. And I think you'd be really successful at it. Well, I remember getting in the car and driving home and being like, man, maybe I should. Like, I don't know. So I got home and I was like sitting there talking to my husband. I was like, maybe I should. He's like, I've been telling you this for a year now. And here you are, you know, some girl tells you and you're like, yeah, I should do it. And I was like, okay, but if I do it, you know, I want to do it right. Well, Sam went ahead that night and ordered me my camera, you know, my laptop to edit on, like, literally gave me no choice but to start and gave me that push I needed and here we are you know going into eight months later and I'm just blown away at this um okay I need to do my makeup I'm blown away at this journey it has been so incredibly fun and I'm very proud of myself for sticking with it and I'm just proud of like my growth so far it's really crazy so thank you to everyone who believed in me, supported me. It's great. So yeah, those two were definitely my inspiration behind starting. Okay, so the next one is what are your goals with YouTube? So my goals with YouTube is obviously to, you know, kind of gain a bigger following, obviously. Um, my goals with YouTube, um, get some awesome brand deals with like some bigger companies and have that opportunity of really turning this into a business. Um, I feel like there's so many avenues you can go with this and there's not like this big goal at the top that like I have in mind. It's just, I want to see where this takes me and see like what I can do with this. And like, I feel like you can really turn it into a business and I'm actually in the process of getting an LLC and turning it into a business aspect that way, getting really organized, you know, in spreadsheets and whatnot to keep track of my earnings because there's like so many different revenues where money's coming from not a lot of money I mean but yeah it's it's awesome so I'm really taking it seriously in that aspect there's no like one word answer I would just say my goals of YouTube is to really take it seriously and just see where it goes so another YouTube question was why don't you do motherhood content anymore Okay, so I'm really glad somebody asked this because it's something I actually wanted to talk on here and on, or on Instagram about because I was so, because I'm really, I guess, confused at like where my channel is going. So let me kind of explain this. Um, I started off doing more motherhood content because my goal, my original goal was I wanted to be the next Erin Williams. If you know who she is, she is the queen bee of motherhood content and that was my goal i said i can totally do that pick up the camera and just vlog my day with the kids i'm already a stay-at-home mom easy peasy okay well when i started doing those videos number one it added so much more stress to my day you would think it'd be easy just pick up your camera and vlog your day okay it's not because it's like your daily things of chores and cleaning and cooking are already like stressful as it is when you have two kids hanging on you all day. Then you added a camera and being so observant of like where to put the camera and making sure you're not blocking the camera, making sure the lighting's good. Like, so it's not just like cooking, cleaning, you know, organizing. On top of that is now like your camera and setup. And I found myself getting more stressed out and not enjoying doing that. So. That was a huge part of it. And number two was no, those videos were not getting views at all. Like very minimal. If you go back, you can see they're only getting like 300 views maybe. But people weren't, I don't think, really interested in that. But then I would post a makeup or a fashion haul, try on haul, thrift haul. And those videos were getting thousands of views and making me money and some of them going viral. So I'm just like... 
why would I waste my time doing motherhood content that isn't going anywhere like no one's watching that or I can step out of my mom role for an hour a day two hours a day and do something that I'm passionate about which is fashion and beauty and all of that and actually be somewhat successful in that you know what I'm saying it's like I'm a mom 24 hours a day but when I get to do my makeup and sit down and like do all this it's like I get a break from the mom stuff and get to be me again um if that makes sense so that is why I have not been doing motherhood content now this is like kind of like what I'm thinking I would love to hear your thoughts so please 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 comment down below and what let me know what you think about this but um it's so hard to talk into your makeup oh my gosh okay, I quickly had to do my eyeliner off camera because I could not do that hold on if you have not had this flavor it is delicious it's a peach nectarine so good so I think my plan for my channel is up until my one year like anniversary mark of being on YouTube, I'm just going to throw out whatever um, just to see what takes, what people like to see, um, and just kind of keep doing like beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and maybe here and there throw in some mommy content just to see if maybe that picks up. Who knows? But then after the year mark, I'll kind of make it like a known fact that this is my channel now you know if it's all lifestyle and beauty and fashion but if for the mere fact which goes into the next question if i get pregnant again um what that will entail for my channel and if i do get pregnant with baby number three i think i would make a separate channel and do my motherhood content on that channel for moms who follow me who want to see that kind of stuff and and you know see my pregnancy journey and then for the people who could care less about that will just continue to follow me on this page so that's kind of where my thoughts are let me know what you guys think um so obviously that goes into the next question which i had a lot of those and that was are we planning on having baby number three and i don't know that's the real answer is i don't know Sam is very content with R2. He thinks we have the perfect family. Um, he's done. Now, I don't know if he's saying that because it's like an overwhelming stage right now because our son Tommy is a lot. He's just got a lot of energy and he's crazy. He's really crazy. Follow me on Instagram and you'll see him. He is nuts. Um, we love him to death though. He's just crazy. Um, and so we are in an overwhelming stage stage I would say so I don't know if my husband is thinking he's done because he's overwhelmed or if because he really truly only wants to um whereas I am like there's no way I'm not done like I had such beautiful easy pregnancies labor delivery like I want to be in a hospital bed laboring I know that sounds weird but I love it um and so I just can't imagine being done now I don't want to get pregnant right now like honestly I don't think I'd want to get pregnant until Tommy is at least two um, because of how crazy he is and so we will see and hey I'm just leaving it up to the Lord the Lord will bless me with a child if he wants me to have another child or he won't um, but that's something we'll just kind of play by ear I guess I'm sure if I really want one I can convince Sam but we're just gonna play it by ear I guess Okay, so the next question I had, a lot of questions the same as this, and that is, what did you do before YouTube? What um, was your job before YouTube? So, my job before YouTube was just a stay-at-home mom, um, so I did not work, uh, and it was great. I love being a stay-at-home mom. I always advocate for moms. If you can stay home, do it, and I think a lot of people are, you know, kind of getting a taste of that right now with quarantine, and a lot of moms are working from home, but working from home and being a stay-at-home mom are two different things if you are working from home and you still have to be a regular mom my heart goes out to you because that's i i just know from trying to like email and like edit my videos while trying to take care of the two it's impossible you can't do it so my heart goes out to you if you're trying to do that right now and juggle the two um paths it's very 
very hard. But yeah, I quit my job right before I gave birth to Lucy. And before that, I worked at a daycare. And um, I loved it. I worked there for, I think, five years or so. And I was a teacher for, like, the two-year-olds, I think it was, like, in that classroom. And I loved it. Those those kids were like my babies, honestly. I treated them and took care of them like they were my own. Oh, it was like some of the best memories, honestly, and it really did prepare me for motherhood. Yeah, Sam and I were on the same page when it came to our thoughts on sending our kids to daycare and wanting me to stay home. We both were like exactly had the same thoughts on it, and I am not saying daycare is bad, so please don't come at me in the comments. I'm just saying that him and I, totally wanted um me to raise the kids and it was the best decision ever i would never 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 change it for any like anything okay i'm gonna put the last two questions together because i kind of go hand in hand and then we'll be done and surprisingly it matched up with i'm almost done with my makeup i just had to do lips so it was would you consider youtube a job and is becoming a youtuber time consuming and does it take away um time from your family okay do I consider YouTube a job? Yes. And the reason being is because I now make a steady income monthly, which is wonderful. And it's growing every month, which is very exciting. There's definitely, if you didn't watch any of my like YouTube tip videos, I would recommend you go watch some and it will kind of explain to you that there's different avenues and revenues of money coming in and like I said as my channel grows and my views grow on my channel um, the money is growing too so it's wonderful and it's very exciting and I can't even seriously wrap my head around it some days I wake up and just laugh like when I wake up and see what I made the day before I literally just laugh at my computer while I'm drinking my coffee like is this real life so Yes, I would consider a job, and like I said earlier, I'm trying to obtain an LLC and to make it more business-like. So, um, is it time-consuming? Yes, it is. And does it take away time from my family? Yes, it does. But I try to be as, like, cautious of my time, um, as I possibly can. When I explain it to people, I always break it down into, like, five different categories. So, number one is, like, planning and prepping for your channel. So, planning ahead of like what your videos are going to be for the month which takes time which takes like creative thought process and when you have two babies screaming at you like that's not like when I'm gonna get creative juices flowing you can't think straight so um planning and prepping I usually do like in the morning before the kids wake up while I'm having my coffee and whatever and then I just kind of jot down what you know some video ideas the next step is filming so Vi filming can take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes all the way up until the whole day. If you're vlogging, it's going to be a whole day filming thing, whereas this video is probably going to take me 30, 40 minutes because I'm talking a lot. So that's a little bit time consuming, but I usually film during Tommy's nap. And then if that doesn't go well, then I'll have Sam watch the kids like in the basement and then I'll film at night. Third, um, stage is editing which that takes a couple hours I'm very like particular about my editing and I will watch the whole video through like seriously a dozen times and most videos are around like the 20 minute mark so that's a long time of watching that video over and over but my biggest pet peeve when watching people's videos is their editing and like so I'm very particular about mine so yeah that takes a couple hours to edit then um emailing emailing you know with brands and trying to get sponsorships so that takes a while to be completely honest with you because you'd be surprised like, like once you get a good amount of followers like brands find you on um, their marketing teams find you and you're getting emails from companies left and right really and some of them are like complete like nonsense where you can just hit like trash but there are some like brands that reach out to you that like I'm genuinely interested in working with and so like you know you're talking about things back and forth um contracts or you know negotiating and so like that does take a long time and like thought behind it and then the last thing is like a really big step and that is networking um connecting with other youtubers with other influencers on instagram because you want to make connections you want to collaborate with others you want to grow together if you're just think about it like 
I am a little, little fish in a big pond of creators, okay? Like millions of creators. And then there's little Kiki right here. So if I didn't connect with others, if I didn't try and like collaborate with others, you're doing it by yourself. And so you're not gonna grow as fast. But if you have a bunch of other YouTube friends who are shouting you out, who are collaborating with you and sharing you with their subscribers, it's kind of like a chain reaction. And that's like a good way and good tip to grow on, on YouTube. So yes, it is very time consuming. I, I try to do bulk of it during nap time or in the morning. So yeah, in the meantime, while I chatted with you guys, I did um just a very dewy, luminous kind of, I don't know, glowy, makeup and this is kind of like the look I do throughout the summer it's just very simple and easy and bronzy and all that good stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and link all the products I use today down below in the description box and if you like to see these kinds of videos then give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think about my journey on YouTube and where you want my channel to go I would love your input so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye been walking down this road for some time And you love, and you love me